There we go. Another safe landing. <laughs> How are you doing this evening? I love making videos of stuff that nobody's seen or been able to recognize in the writings of Nikola Tesla, which I feel like I've looked at endlessly. Nikola Tesla, one of his uh, shortcomings, unless it was one of the trunks stolen by the government, which of course they did after Tesla's death, his 40 plus trunks, is that Tesla didn't go into any great detail at all about field theory. He just did not. But there are many things that a lot of people, everybody actually, has missed. There's not an other article or video like this, and all Tesla videos are pretty much the same out there on the internet. They're all kind of garbage superficial and they're definitely all made well 99.99 percent .99 of them made by people who have no idea anything at all about field theory i wanted to point out something important to you that uh, tesla said and of course i made a list and the list is in the link below giving explanation to definitions like dielectricity counter space magnet magnetism so on and so forth and um, the dielectric and also to 103 years ago um, uh, Charles Proteus Steinmetz, electrical discharges, waves, and impulses, said even electrical uh, field theorists in his time were complete fools and that they didn't understand the relationship of what electricity is. Electricity, of course, is the conjunction or the hybrid synthesis of uh, dielectricity and magnetism. And they said 103 years ago that they had overtly complicated the understanding of electricity and what it actually is. Because electricity is not an autonomous field modality, which of course I repeated that in many, many videos. But this video is different. I'd like to point to one word and explain it in a nutshell and try to make this video short and sweet since people like short and sweet videos. Sometimes I flap my lips a little bit too much and unnecessarily. For that, I apologize. And Tesla calls voltage tension. And this is important, and I'd like to talk about dielectric tension. But let me uh, first give you a few quotes, of which there are countless ones from Tesla. These are all Tesla's words. Currents of high tension to great distance. Um, a machine giving a tension of something like 2.5 million volts. With such a coil, I found that it was uh, practically no limit to the tension available. Uh, I have learned how to put up a plant that will develop a tension of 100 million volts and handle it with a uh, safe effect. Now, he's not talking about high tension wires. He's talking about, uh, obviously so, countless quotes like this exist. I mean, I only gave you five. He's talking about dielectric tension. And what that is in reference to is, of course, the ether. The ether under stress or strain, or Tesla's words, word, is tension. And that is what dielectricity is. And also, too, by using apophoticism and simplex platonic retroduction, we can make a very, very simple... I don't know if you know what a Lichtenberg pattern is. Look it up on uh, a Google search and look at the images. There are people that are struck by lightning and they have these fern-like patterns on their back. You can also, too, buy these lucite blocks that are irradiated with uh, you know, uh, enormous amounts of X-ray energy and they actually tap it with a grounded spike and the dielectric uh, the dielectricity that's inside that clear lucite block discharges, and it discharges in a flash, and it makes this burn inside the lucite that looks fern-like, and which, of course, is exactly what lightning looks like. In all those stepped patterns, they follow one thing. They follow the golden ratio, and the golden ratio, people love saying golden ratio, but there's not a single person out there who can tell you what the hell the golden ratio is. What do you mean by golden ratio? You love saying golden ratio. What is it? Well, I don't know. It's just like beauty in nature. Well, that's a description, but that's not an explanation. The golden ratio, of course, is the proportionality of the one or the agathon or the absolute to itself. In other words, it's extrinsic attribute. And it's the same reason why the first two numbers of the Fibonacci sequence are one and one, principle and attribute, which are not two things, but one. Kind of like light and illumination. Light is not different than illumination. Illumination, of course, is the attribute of light. Light goes forth. Veritas lux mia. Um, uh, fiat lux, let there be light. There we go. My Latin is rusty. Fiat lux. There's a reason why light... Everybody should look up a Lichtenberg pattern, by the way. Um, yeah, people get struck by lightning. They have this pattern on their back or their arms, and it's a, it's a really cool tattoo. People think, well, that's fake. It's like, no, I got struck by lightning. They are left with a permanent burn scarification of their tissue. 
if it didn't kill them anyway. <laughs> of this uh, fern-like pattern, which follows uh, divine symmetry of uh, perfect uh, proportionality. And uh, since the most fundamental field modality is the uh, tension of the ether, the ether under ten stress or strain, that's what Eric Dollard called it, dielectricity is ether under stress or strain, which of course he's correct. And uh, dielectricity is to voltage as magnetism is to amperage, and of course amperage is called flow. Um, like high voltage uh, and low amperage, or high amperage and low voltage, like an example of... Uh, of uh, high voltage and low amperage would be as if someone took a, a fine little needle and like launched it at you at like a thousand miles an hour. I mean, it might like totally go through your, your hand or skin or something, a, a needle at ultra, uh, ultra high speed, but I mean, it's not going to do that much damage because it's, it's a needle. So that would be a high tension torsion, um, but uh, low amperage or low current. And of course, uh, uh, an example of uh, high voltage, high current would be if someone did the same thing with a sledgehammer, he would be obliterated, of course. And uh, what's dangerous, of course, is high voltage and high amperage. But uh, there's a reason why uh, Tesla called uh, uh, voltage tension. That is uh, the dielectric field, which is the most fundamental field modality. That is the ether under stress or strain, of which, uh, you know, same reference Nikola Tesla refers to as tension. What tension of what, by what, and due to what? And there's another question, of course, which has to be asked. Nikola Tesla doesn't answer that. But that uh, tension or stress or strain is a reference to dielectric torsion of the absolute. And is the only field modality which creates these beautiful, well, magnetism does in its absolute toroidal sense, and it creates a proportionality of one to five, shaped like an egg. If you were to cut an egg in half, bisect it, it would be a volume proportionality, but that's another matter, but the most uh, simplex uh, field modality, and of course magnetism is the dielectric field, and losing that stressor train, that the dissipation of the stressor strain that is dielectricity is therefore thence the toroidal manifestation which we call magnetism. Now magnetism and dielectricity are not different things from one another, neither is ice and water. Well water is wet and you know ice is hard and we have different names for the same thing. Ice and water are just different uh, temperature modalities of the same substance. Just as dielectricity and magnetism are different uh, ether, uh, uh, ether tension modalities of the one and the same thing, the ether. Um, but these Lichtenberg uh, patterns um, that are created have this uh, simplex and beautiful proportionality because it is the closest field modality to the ether itself. But this is the reason why, uh, and no one's uh, noticed this before in uh, Nikola Tesla's uh, wordings and how he describes uh, fields because he's not very descriptive on uh, defining a, a field phenomena. Yeah, but uh, look up Lichtenberg patterns. You can also, too, buy these lucite blocks as they, people hang them on their wall or whatever as artwork but the, their natural phenomena, the lucite blocks or capacitors, they're charged up with an enormous amount of dielectricity and then they're dissipated really quickly through a grounded spike, basically the head of a nail. And it discharges and it creates a burn-like fern pattern in uh, the lucite. It's not electrons, by the way, but it's electrons. No such thing as an electron. The phenomenon of electron is one unit of dielectric induction. The discoverer of the electron phenomena he himself said it was not a particle until much later. Um, and he said it, an electron is just a unit of dielectric induction, which is correct. Um, very accurate. That's J.J. Thompson, by the way. Um, so that's the reason why Nikola Tesla referred to voltage as tension. Tension of the ether. Yeah. Tension due to what, by what. Um, be like those old rubber band planes where you you generate tension, the release of which would be a force or magnetism, where uh, a vector is then created. Uh, all dielectric discharges uh, are discharges into counter space. All uh, dielectric discharges which are discharged in the space is magnetism, and that is a really, really important point. Let me repeat that again because it's so important. I've not said that in another video. 
that all di dielectric discharges are into counter space manifest these uh, patterns, like the pattern of lightning or the Lichtenberg patterns, but all dielectric torsion which dissipates its energy into uh, space, and space is not a receptacle, it's actually discharged into, manifestation of the discharge of that energy manifests as magnetism, which is the dielectric field, specifically the field of force and motion, centrifugal divergence. So, Anyway, I hope I made that simple. I really tried to keep it in a nutshell, and uh, I like making original videos about stuff Tesla wrote and talked about that nobody else has seen or mentioned, and I know but nobody's mentioned this about uh, Nikola Tesla and his reference to dielectricity and voltage being tension because that's what it is. It's ether tension. We could call it ether torsion. Dollard calls it stress or strain. Same thing. Tension, torsion, stress or strain. Potato, potato. Talking about the same thing here. But Tesla called it tension. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you like this video. Happy New Year to everybody kind of afraid for what this year is going to bring. You probably agree with me on that one. Yeah. Goodbye. Thank you.